In this problem, we have a balloon at room temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. It has an initial circumference of 0.54 meters. We place the balloon in a fridge at negative 5 degrees Celsius for one hour. Will the balloon's volume slash circumference increase, decrease, or stay the same? To solve this problem, we'll be using the ideal gas law, which is absolute pressure times volume equals mass times the gas constant times absolute temperature, or in other words, PV equals MRT. Note, there is another variant that uses moles of gas, however in engineering we are more commonly interested in mass. A handy trick we can use is taking the ideal gas law for the final state and dividing it by the initial state ideal gas law, and eliminating the common variables. Pressure, mass, and the gas constant are the same, so they can be eliminated. We are left with volume 2 over volume 1 being equal to temperature 2 over temperature 1. Further rearranging this formula to get what we are solving for, volume 2 to one side, we get that temperature 2 over temperature 1 times volume 1 equals volume 2. Now we must get our values to the correct units by changing temperature to absolute temperature by adding 273 to get to Kelvin. We get an initial temperature of 294 degrees Kelvin and a final temperature of 268 degrees Kelvin. To get volume, I'll be making a pretty hefty simplification. We will assume the balloon is a sphere. So we will need to convert the circumference to radius by dividing by 2 pi. We get a radius of 0.0859 meters. Plugging that value into the volume formula of a sphere of 4 divided by 3 times pi times radius cubed, we get a volume of 0.002659 meters cubed for volume 1. So now that we have all of our values in the correct units, we can plug it into the volume 2 formula. We get a volume at 2 of 0.002424 meters cubed. Now let's go back to the experiment when measuring the circumference of the balloon after being at negative 5 degrees Celsius for an hour. We get a circumference measured of 0.53 meters. Taking the circumference over 2 pi and plugging it into the volume formula, we get a volume of 0.002514 meters cubed for our experimental value. So if temperature decreases and mass, gas constant, and pressure remain the same, the volume will decrease. So volume and temperature are directly proportional. This means that volume decreases, temperature decreases, and volume increases, temperature increases. The reason this happens is that the number of impacts of molecules of air in the balloon are decreasing with the decrease in temperature. There is less energy going to the outside surface of the balloon, so the balloon contracts and gets smaller. The air becomes denser. So now let's calculate out the experimental air. We will convert both the volume 2 experimental and the volume 2 theoretical into radius to complete this analysis. Then we will take the absolute value of the experimental radius minus the theoretical radius over the theoretical radius. We could use circumference experimental and circumference theoretical, but being these are both multiplied times 2 pi, it can be simplified to radius. We get an experimental error of 1.57%. This could be due to assuming that the balloon is a sphere. It could also be due to the elasticity of the rubber changing with temperature. And some of this could be due to the measurement methods used in this experiment. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.